What's going on too? How's everybody doing? How is everybody's 4th of July? You guys will probably see this one day. So happy 4th of July. So today, on this wonderful holiday, we're going to talk about a question I was asked. This question came from Evil CC. I hope I'm saying it right. But uh, they wanted to know, how is the pay starting out? And do you have to gain seniority before you start getting decent checks? Now, I forgot to ask you, um, what company are you talking about? And which side are you talking about? Are you talking about city or line hall? But I'm just going to assume you want to know both. So let's talk about it. So when you come into um, LTL, you know, a lot of companies you go to, um, it's going to be a sliding scale. So you won't come in at the start out, at the top out pay. Now, if you come to um, AAA Cooper, you will start off at the top out. They recently changed. I know when I started, back when I started, you didn't get hired at the start out pay. You didn't get it until I believe, was it your first three or six months or your first year? It's somewhere around there. But after like, I think your first year, you were at your top out pay. Um, so as far as like the pay, that's going to be something, you know, you're going to want to ask the, um, recruiter or the service center manager, basically the person that does the hire, you're going to want to ask them, uh, what is the starting pay? Um, how long does it take to get out? How long does it take to get to the top out pay now? Of course, the pay is going to be different on each side city. You're going to be paid, uh, by the hour. Line haul, you're gonna be paid per mile. And uh, as a matter of fact, let's talk about pay while I'm on the subject. So you're gonna wanna know um, if you're city, obviously you're gonna get paid by the hour. So that's that now, line haul. Line haul is a little different. Now, depending on the company you go to, it's gonna be a lot of different pays that you get now. If you were union, you know, that's a whole, Another thing I'm not even gonna get into all that. Um, if you want to know about LTL for Union, you know, check out Bink and um, I can't think of his channel name. It's at the tip of my tongue, but he works for ABS. So if you want to know about the pay for Union, check out those guys. I'll link it in the description. Now for Line Hall, you know, like I said, you'll get paid by the mile. You know, some companies, you know, they pay you to fuel, to pay you for dropping hook, breakdown pay, things like that. Now again, as far as like all the different types of pay, that's gonna be something you're gonna wanna ask, you know, um, you're gonna ask the service center manager. Now, as far as, do you have to get seniority before you start getting decent checks? Now, I mean, as far as decent, I'm not sure what you mean by decent because everybody's gonna have their own definition of what decent is, so. $1,700 might be decent, you know, $1,400 might be decent, $2,200 might be decent, uh, $1,100 might be decent. So it just depends on what you consider to be decent. But the point is, regardless of what side you go to, regardless if you do uh, PND City or if you do Line Hall, you're going to make good money. Now, of course, as I've said in other videos, when you come in, you're gonna start off at the bottom, so you're probably gonna get the smallest run. So, I mean, your check is gonna be smaller than somebody. So let's say you come in and you get a 300 mile run. Obviously, your check is gonna be smaller than a driver that's doing maybe 620 miles a night. Now, like I said, as far as building seniority, you know, the longer you stay at the company, you know, the more seniority you gain. Now I wouldn't have to say I wouldn't say that you need a whole lot of seniority to get decent checks because me for example you know I'm not the I'm not at the top in seniority but I'm not at the bottom and I'm making good checks now for me even when I was at the very bottom of the pole totem pole you know I was still bringing decent checks now most of y'all that been rocking with me you guys already know I don't get into numbers of as far as how much I make I don't believe in sharing that information but. I'm still where I am, so obviously the money is good. Um, so I would say no, you don't have to have a lot of seniority to um, get decent checks. Um, now, of course, most drivers, you know, they're gonna want the 600 plus mile bid runs, you know, that way they get the big checks. But I mean, like I said, you can still 
make good even if you're doing maybe 1800 miles a week or 2000 miles a week you know it's all really just going to depend on what's good for you you know you might be satisfied with 2000 miles you might not be you know 3000 might be good for you 3000 might not so it's just really going to depend on what works best for you now let's touch on seniority real quick it's going to be easy and i've always said this it's going to be easy to gain seniority if you run out of a bigger terminal reason being is a lot of drivers you know big terminals are typically going to hire more and more drivers because they're going to get more and more runs at it um, if you run out of a small terminal i always use this example if you're at a terminal that has 10 let's just say they have 15 PND runs and maybe eh, 10 Lyle runs. A terminal like that, you know, it's going to be hard to gain seniority because smaller terminals, you know, may not have the freight volume to where they need more runs added. So you might have a harder time gaining seniority, which means you'll ultimately be stuck. So eh, pick your poison. All right. So I hope that answers your question. I hope I answered it for you. Um, if I wasn't clear on any particular part, you know, just uh, let me know. You can also hit my email, which is in the description. So as I always tell y'all, thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you to all my day one subscribers. Make sure y'all hit that like button, comment, share. And as I always tell y'all, y'all take it easy. Stay safe.